G'day guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled this chair. Okay, so today I'm going to make it um, uh, parametric, but not the size. Uh, I wanted to rotate it so you can go for for go forward, go backward. Okay, so let's do it. So first, um, create a family so it will be a furniture again okay so go where's my here so furniture and then go back to that this family and load it into this so I'm going to just place it in the center now go to the left view so let's let's have a try so now if I try, select this uh, family chair if you use an RO rotate, so you will see I can't rotate it. Okay, so there's um, because there's some settings, so, so we need to go back to this uh, family, and so so you will see this always vertical. Uncheck this always vertical, and also you need to check uh, work plan based. Okay, so now load back into here and override so now if we go to front view or oh sorry left view you um, actually you still can't rotate it you still can't uh, what you need to do is you need to instead of rotate this fam family you need to rotate a word plan so before that we need to create a word plan that is that um, can be rotated so such as a uh, reference line okay so if i draw a reference line here so for example and then select this family and go edit word plan pick a plan okay and pick this reference line so now you will see this you can move this reference line and also you can rotate this reference line okay so now let me just move this chair back to roughly here so now I'm going to show you so I want to rotate this chair but I want um, this chair always touch the ground so uh, for example if I if I do it like this if I, if I rotate this reference line so you will see it will go up right even if I drag this reference line and stop uh, roughly here and then it will still not go under the, the ground. This is not uh, what we want. So we need to um, do some uh, formula. So so what we need is, so when it rotates, so for example, it rotates up, we want this reference line to be lift, lifted, so like this, and then when it rotate the other direction we want it to go down depending on what angle this line is okay so now let's do it so first let's rotate this back to horizontal and then i want to um, move this chair away and i want to move this back i want to pick this uh what do we call it quadrant point or you can use SQ to pick this edge and then move it to this this point so this end of reference line okay so now I'm going to move this reference line to this reference plan okay and so now I know that so this so let's say this is the a point when you know no nobody's sitting on the chair so it will be like this and then when you start to uh, rotate this chair, so it needs to be go up and down to make sure, so it's touching the ground. Okay, so now let's um, actually let me just rotate this roughly to an angle. So uh, hang on. maybe I need to move it down a little bit. So let's use M V. Okay, so move down a little bit, and then I'll just rotate this to 
roughly here. And then I'm going to uh, do a screenshot so we can explain a little bit. Okay, so now first, first we need to get the radius of this. So this, if I draw it, and so the radius. So if I go up, uh, I need to go up a little bit. So if I draw it like this, and then and I'll connect this one. Okay, so connect from here. So the length of this will be the let's call it R. And then we another if I draw this line uh, parallel to the uh, level. So this, and then I'll draw this line as well. Uh, maybe maybe I'll just remove this part because it's a little bit confusing. So I'll only draw this part. So here. Okay, so this is an arc. Okay, so this is an arc. And this is also the R. This, uh, we will work out what that is. So I'll call this A, uh, let's call it A, angle. Okay, so this is A. So this angle will be the uh, parameter we use to control the the um the parameter uh, control the the angle so this is the main uh parameter we oh sorry this is the only parameter we 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 use to control this family okay so and then what we need to work out is this so the the distance from this level sorry the so distance from this level to this so which is this, okay, so this, and this will be the height, so height from this point to this point. So we need to work out h equals uh, what, what, uh, for example, times a, okay? So now let's do it. So um, so if I connect, if I continue this line to here, and create a, a right angle here. So in this triangular shape, so let's see if we can work out something. Okay, so okay, so okay, so this angle is 90 degree. Okay, so this angle is 90 degree, and this angle A. So if I call this angle B, so because this is 180 degree, okay, so 180 degree minus 90 degrees equals 90 degree, which means angle A plus angle B equals 90. And then in this triangular shape, because angle B plus this, which is 90 degree, plus this, let's call it C, okay, so which means angle B plus angle C equals 90 and which means angle A equals angle C okay so now we can just uh, get rid of this C so this is A so it's same as this one so now we have this uh, triangular shape we have angle A we have the radius so we can work out so let me just remove, get rid of this. So we can work out this, this. Uh, so the formula is cosine, cosine A, cosine A equals this one. So let's call it uh, X, X divided by R, okay? So we can, from here we can get x equals cosine a times r and then and then h so see this one so this one's x and from here to the reference level is the r so see this one is the r so which means the h so which is this one if is 
same as this one, so h. So h equals r minus x. So x is cosine a times r, so equals r minus cosine a times r. Or um, you can also uh, you can also um, use this. So r times one minus cosine a. So this will be the formula for the h. So see h equals uh, r times 1 minus cosine a. So that's the formula. So now we can go um, to Revit and we can do some, we can do, we can create some uh, um, parameters. So first let's create an angular parameter. Let's call it a change it, this to angle, instance, OK, and OK. So, but we still need to apply this parameter to, to some reference line. So here, so what I'm going to do is, so um, I'll, I'll draw another reference line. OK, so I'll just move, uh, I'll just leave it there. I'll just create another reference line. So this reference line, We'll start from this reference plan and horizontal. This reference line will uh, always horizontal, uh, be horizontal, always uh, parallel to the level. So I can create a dimension. So this dimension will be the H. Okay. So create a, create an H parameter length instance and OK. So now I'm going to select this reference line and I'll see if I can uh, how I'll see if I can um, place this reference line onto a ref work plan of this reference line okay so let's try edit work plan pick the plan okay and I'll pick this reference line so now let's try again so if I so sh this reference line uh, should follow this reference line. So let's have a test. So if I move this up, yes. So now we can just move this reference line, MV, down to here. So now I can, I can control this reference line, also this chair, use this. So let me go up, again, use your keyboard, go up and then down. Okay, so now I'm going to create a, a parameter for the angle. So D, oh, so just create a dimension because we already have that parameter. So angle, so here to here, and then select this dimension and give it this one. Uh, currently it's zero. That's fine. Okay, and then go to family type family types so let's try okay so 10 degree yeah okay good so if I type it, zero yeah um, 10 let's go back to 10 degree so now I'm going to oh hell my chair moved um, let me just just hell let me just change this to zero Again, I want to make sure, so this chair, so I just move MV and I'll use SQ to pick this point and move it to here. So now let's try again. So um, 10 degree, yep, yeah, I think it looks okay. Negative 10 degree, good. So click OK and then we can uh, give the full, uh, give the H the formula we we have here. So okay, so go to family types. H equals oh, we still need to work out the R what the R is. So let's just do a dimension radius. I'll just pick this line. So this is it, and 
to uh, make it perfect, uh, ac oh, sorry, accurate, you need to select this and see that's the, uh, the actual number. So 1321, uh, 1321.6. So now let's go back to uh, the fam family type. So the R equals 1321.6 times bracket 1 minus cosine, uh, yeah, capital is fine, cosine um, A bracket bracket. So now that's it, apply. So you will see this chair just touch the level. And now we can, um, let me just to make it easier to, to play with the angle. So I'll just draw a reference line and I'll set work plan and pick the work plan of this reference line and create another reference line. And then I'll do a dimension angle and select this angle and apply this uh, A. So now let me just try this. Yeah, it works. And okay, so that's it. So yeah, of course you can't go too much. Okay. If, oh, it will <laughs> off the ground. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time.